of the iPad running an open source operating system, Android most likely, and this is going to be accessible to more people than ever before. Unlike on a mobile phone, you can actually type uh, and legitimately contribute and participate. So that next billion people are going to come online and they're going to start working in their own language and it's going to be an, a, an incredible thing. Uh, we've just seen recently the impact that the internet is having in terms of um, overturning tyranny. Uh, we've seen it in Tunisia, uh, a really big impact there. Um, possibly, I, I don't know exactly what's going on in Egypt because I, I read the story this morning, Al Deutsch, uh, which means I didn't really understand what I was reading. Um, but, uh, you know, they have today, they, they have blocked uh, Facebook and Twitter in Egypt because of some unrest going on. Um, there will become political change, and it's coming to these places faster than before. One of the things that I'm really passionate about is as we see that kind of change happen, which can be scary, it can be fast, it can be a bit of mob mentality, it's not just about fast communication and creating mobs in the streets, although that can be quite helpful in changing a, a bad government, but it's also about the slower, longer term thinking about how do we educate people, how do we make sure that people in these places are aware of alternative ways of living. They're aware that there's hope, they're aware that there's a possibility of living in a way that doesn't involve terrorism and fear and fighting. And so this is really what I think is going to be our major impact all around the world, is as people who have never really had a chance to get an education before, now for the first time will have an encyclopedia at their fingertips so that when they want to know uh, what was the bloodiest battle of World War II, uh, they can actually find that out, World War I, World War II, whatever. Uh, so what does this mean for the world? I, I, I don't have an answer to that question really. I'm very optimistic, I'm very hopeful. Um, and so I just want to leave you with, the, with the, the thought that I began with. And that's, I want you all to imagine a world in which every single person on the planet is given free access to the sum of all human knowledge. That's what we're doing. And thank you so much. Thank you to the uh, uh, Gottlieb Water Institute for this uh, amazing honor. Um, and most of all, thank you to all of the people who have edited Wikipedia and really made it what it is today. Um, it's just incredible and a great honor. Thank you. Alabama is where uh, Werner von Braun came and they built the 
these basic rocket sensor data. And so all of the science, uh, all of the scientists who were involved in creating the rockets uh, and the spaceship to go to the moon uh, were based in Huntsville. And I remember as a small child, uh, sometimes the windows in the house would rattle because we lived close enough to where they were testing the rockets. Uh, that when they would test uh, the Saturn V rocket, which was quite a big rocket, um, it would, it would sh shake the windows in the house. Uh, and so that was quite inspiring. And certainly for all of us uh, kids growing up there, our hometown sports team was essentially the space program. Uh, and so I was very early uh, enthralled by technology, by science, uh, by the possibility of learning, and all those things. So I think some of those cultural influences were quite important. You heard in the short film that we saw that somebody was saying, "Oh, it's not gonna, it's, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna work out." Is that sometimes depressing? I mean, people saying, "Oh, you know, good idea, but too complicated." <laughs> well, you know, the funny thing is, uh, when we when we first got started, um, nobody noticed or cared um, what we were doing, and so I didn't actually hear that from too many people, uh, simply because the ones who thought it wouldn't work just passed on and didn't really care. Um, whereas there were a group of us who were really passionate about the idea and really thought that we could find a way to make it work. Uh, and so out of that early group, uh, we found a lot of solutions to problems that came up. Uh, one Swiss author called Gottlieb Dutwan, the donor of the prize tonight, an adventurous man. And I was wondering, do you consider yourself adventurous too? Um, I'm actually very, very boring. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I suppose in some ways. Uh, I mean, for me, uh, just uh, this, this journey, uh, watching this amazing community grow, helping in, in my own small way to, to, to foster the community, um, has given me great opportunities to be able to travel. Uh, you know, when I, when I can go and visit uh, a computer lab in a slum in the Dominican Republic and see teenagers there who, three years ago, they didn't even have electricity. Uh, and then now they're on, you know, they're, they're, I went to the computer lab, they're on YouTube, they're on Google, uh, they're doing I am with their friends, they're using Wikipedia, and you just think, wow, what a dramatic impact this technology is having. Uh, well, so that's a bit of an adventure, you know, to realize, hey, I can go there and can see these things um, and realize that we are actually having an impact. It's amazing. Well, I'm sure you're not leading a boring life. I mean, can you explain us <laughs> a little bit? I mean, you travel a lot. I mean, how, what's a typical... Jimmy Wales week? Um, well, I do travel a lot. Um, I travel, uh, I'm on the road probably 250 days a year, although I'm trying to cut back uh, some. Um, and so therefore there's no typical week. Uh, a typical week is getting on a plane and going to the next city and, and giving a lecture or doing press <coughs> interviews. Um, you know, I'm trying now to turn my attention more and more to doing travel uh, in, in India. Uh, because we're going to open an office there. So, in fact, uh, one of the things that this uh, prize is going to allow me to do is to be able to afford to do that, to go to India and spend more time uh, and, uh, you know, uh, try to have a direct impact there. So, yeah, I guess it's a bit exciting. <laughs> it is for me. I enjoy it. Thank you very much, and good luck with all your upcoming adventures. Thank you.